Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Bebo. This is part two to our video uh, series on understanding proportional relationships. And in this one, we're gonna go through a lot more examples on how to tell whether two rates or ratios are gonna be forming a proportion. So for this first example, as I noted at the top of the screen there, it says you can use whatever method works best for you. Simplify the ratios, use cross products, or find the unit rate. Any of those are gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead for this first one the 75 miles in three hours, 140 miles in four hours, I'm going to go ahead and just find the unit rate. So I'm going to do 75 divided by three, and I know that that's going to be 25 miles per hour. And then I need to figure out what 140 divided by four is. So I don't let my students use calculators for this unit. Um, sorry, you guys, if you're watching. <laughs> uh, but I so I practice a lot of these questions. You're going to see that I work out a lot of them using long division. If you're allowed to use a calculator, great. Type that into your calculator. You're good to go. Uh, but going through the long division process, 4 goes into 14 three times. And then we can subtract that there. Oops. And then bring down our 0. And then 4 goes into 25 times. So we're going to find that that's 35 miles per hour. So nope, not proportional, not the same uh, unit rate, therefore not proportional. So for the next one, same idea. This one I actually think set up really nice again to use unit rates. So we'll go ahead and just do that for this one as well. Um, so we got 12 gallons in four minutes. So we're going to do 12 divided by four, which is going to be three um, gallons per minute. And then if we do the same thing for our second rate, 21 gallons in seven minutes. Again, 21 divided by seven is going to be three. So again, three gallons per minute. So because these are the same, yes, it's going to be proportional. All right. So bunch more examples coming at you on this one. So example six, tell whether these ratios form a proportion. So we, again, can use three different methods, right? And there might even be more out there um, where you can even just like divide the two, but lots of different options. Um, so with this, we're going to go through just a few different methods. I'm just going to kind of pick the one that I'm feeling for it. You again, decide what works best for you. So for this first one, I'm going to go ahead and just simplify the second ratio or what again looks like a fraction, right? So I'm going to simplify this down and see that one half is this one here, five tenths, five to 10. If I divide both of the parts of that ratio by five, we're going to find that that is one half. And so since these are exactly the same ratio when they're simplified, we would say that this one is yes, they are proportional. They do form a proportion. All right, so now for the next one. Um, we got four to six, and we're comparing that to the 18 to 24. So if we were to go through and simplify each of these, um, four to six is going to simplify to two thirds. So dividing both of those by two. And then 18 24, so you can divide each of those by six. That gets us three fourths. So those now are both in their most simplified forms they are not the same. And so we're going to conclu conclude on this one that no, they are not in a proportion. All right, moving right on to number three. So we have 10 to three, comparing that to five to six. Now, at first glance, I would hope that we would notice like this is an issue, that 10 to three, because that is a improper fraction and five to six is a proper fraction. So automatically not going to be a proportion. But if we go through the math to prove that, to just really show the math behind it, I'm going to go ahead and set up a proportion here um, just because it's been a while since I've done an example with that. And so I'm just setting the one ratio equal to the other. And then we're going to do our cross products to see if it turns out to be the same. So the cross products, you're going to do 10 times six, three times five, 10 times six is 60. Three times five is 15. Those are definitely not equal to each other. And so we would conclude, no, that is not a proportion because again, those cross products did not equal each other. All right. And then last but not least on this one, number four, again, you have so many options for this. We could find a unit rate. So how much per one? So essentially we would take our numerator and divide by the denominator. Um, you can simplify these down and then we can also use cross products. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, use, 
And we'll do cross products again for this one, just so you guys can see another one set up. So we got 25 20 ths We're going to see if that's equal to 15 over 12. So cross products again, we're going to multiply. So we'll do 25 times 12. So again, you can multiplication. You can think of it as quarters. So how, you know, how much money does 12 quarters make? Um, that's going to end up being 300. And 20 times 15 is also going to be 300. And so since these cross products are equal, this is a proportion. So we would say yes. So there's some really quick examples for you there where, again, we basically simplified our ratios and then we did some cross products. All right, our next example is a story problem. And it says you can do 90 sit-ups in two minutes. Your friend can do 135 sit-ups in three minutes. Do these rates form a proportion? So we'll go ahead and use a unit rate for this one. So for you, you can do 90 in two minutes. So we're gonna do 90 divided by two to figure out that you can do 45 sit-ups per minute. Impressive. Your friend can do 135 sit-ups in three minutes. So we're gonna do the same kind of idea except for we'll do, uh, again, different numbers. 135 divided by three. And so again, if we go through the math here, we would say three goes into 13, that would end up being four times. Um, but we're gonna find that your friend can actually do the same. So because those unit rates uh, are the same, that means this forms a proportion. So these do have a proportional relationship. Last example, in this one, it says you run the first three laps around the gym in two minutes. You complete 24 laps in 12 minutes. Is the number of laps proportional to your time? And what does this mean in context of the problem? So we'll worry about the part two of that question in a moment. First, we just want to figure out, is this proportional? So if I take a look, okay, so we do three laps in two minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do a unit rate. So I'm going to do three divided by two, and that is one and a, one and a half laps per minute. And then it says when we're done, we actually completed 24 laps in 12 minutes. So if I do that, 24 divided by 12, my pace was now actually two laps per minute. So if we look at these now, they're not the same, right? Those unit rates are not the same. So it's not a proportional relationship. And what does it mean in context of the problem? It means you actually got faster because you completed your laps from one and a half lap per minute to now two laps per minute. So you actually picked up the pace as you were running around the gym. So that's it for the examples in this video. If you do have um, further questions, make sure you go back maybe to video one um, where we go through more of those basics and really uh, slow down as we go through the different ways you can tell whether or not something's proportional. Thanks for watching.